So our second experiment here, again with the lemon juice and salt. I've got a little more salt in this one than I had when I was doing the box elder burl wood. This is, uh, I think I said pine, but it looks like fir to me. Old fir. This this is uh, let's see floor joists out of a house that got torn down. So it's got that old tight grain fir. It's pretty stuff. So I've got this one, and then I've got some straight yellow pine. Maybe we'll try them both. I'm going to paint on my generous helping. Because in the past I've had problems with it discoloring the wood, I am using the lemon juice idea, because that doesn't seem to affect wood color quite so much, if at all. But old habits die hard. So I am painting the entire board, because if it's going to discolor, I want it to discolor everything evenly. More than once I've expressed my dream, which is to try to force the arcs into a specific location. I would love to be able to paint on, say, Montana's rivers, and then force them to burn in and around those rivers, creating not only the river system, but possibly the, uh, you know, the little feeder streams. So far that hasn't worked. I can get pretty close by running it Ooh, these are chilly this morning. By running it with baking soda. Oh, dang cold this morning. By running it with baking soda, I can get close to it, but I haven't had any success yet. Uh, let's start right there. I know a lot of folks use nails. I know the, the poultry people, which if you haven't seen theirs, you should. He hammers nails in and runs his wires between the nails. He's, he's going for much deeper arcs than I typically like. So I'm, I'm hoping to get a, a finer arc pattern. I'm going to start with the ballast on medium. Here we go. Yeah, see? We're skipping on the top of the wood. Okay, I'm kicking the ballast up to high in an attempt to get it to start. Once I can get an arc chain going, I can kick it back down. Boy, I really might be stuck. Come on, sweetheart. Oh, we almost had an arc chain going. Tell you what, we'll try it the poultry people way. See, I hate this, right? Because now I've got all these little marks, and I'll have to run somehow arcing through this. I want this to work because it doesn't it doesn't discolor the wood much at all. But I have to be able to have chased arcs, and it has to work with my system because this is the system I have. So I'll try the poultry people way with nails, see if that works. This isn't working. I'm gonna try to come up with something different. What I'm about to try, I think, is largely ridiculous because one probably neutralizes the other. But this, sorry, baking soda and lemon juice combined. Ooh, vinegar, that'd be a good one to try. So we'll see what kind of wood discoloration we're going to get. Actually, let's leave half of this undone here. I'm willing to sacrifice this one if I have to. See if I get any different arcs. So far, not a whole lot of 
difference. Oh, we are ruining this board. Dang it, this sucks. Running the ballast back down to medium. Hey there, we're getting running arcs. Briefly. Start running the ballast at, at low. That's an improvement, but we're running right down the glue line again. Now this is working very well. It's still a different looking arc than what I'm used to. It's, uh, it's a much tighter pattern. Not bad, just different. Now this is out here in where I wiped off the lemon juice and salt combination. And it still appears to be working. That's pretty cool. I don't know why it's out there. Well, I'd say that's enough of a test. We did get some long runners in the end. And we have some interesting little outlier guys. You can see the discoloration, and it seems to deal with the heat. The baking soda wood starts to turn this grayish, greenish color. It's still not, still not the long running arcs that I tend to get with, uh, with just the baking soda water, but it also looks better. Let me go wash this off and once it dries we can make a comparison. Um, I don't think you can pick it up in the camera lens but that line, right, we have two distinct colors. I don't know if it'll be enough to sink the whole project but you can you can see the greenish grayish here and it's clearer there. So no doubt the baking soda is, is causing some of that. 
Again, I get some finer details. This has just been scrubbed out with a scrub brush to remove charcoal wood, a little weaker charcoal wood. I don't know, I want to find a way that will give me the long tendrils, like my baking soda, with, uh, without the discoloration. Experiments continue.